Hey, what's up, guys? It's me again, Mr. Joshua, with another Gundam MSA review. And today we are reviewing the project that I literally just got done doing over the weekend. Uh, these two guys are my custom recolored one battle scarred custom Xeon Capture Ground Type GM. Yeah, a pretty long name, but I just basically captured Ground Type GM. Uh, what I did was these two guys right here were just. You know, the regular uh, ground type Gundams, they weren't a desert type or anything, and I actually got a lot of them. I've been collecting them over the years. And the uh, battle card was actually um, totally, in totally incomplete. It was missing a shoulder pad and a little skirt thing goes over his leg. But other than that, pretty much, pretty much complete. Uh, this guy, on the other hand, he wasn't, you know, in that bad condition. He was actually, you know, pretty much complete. He was just missing a couple of beam sabers and weapons, but... Yeah, I didn't really give a shit. I was like, you know what, whatever, I'm going to do this. But uh, what I did was, you know, I, I tossed him in this uh, synthetic dye. So what you're seeing right here, this is not paint. This is, a, this is a synthetic dye that I've been using for a while now. And it works a whole lot better than paint. You can actually put your, you can actually put your, uh, your thumb up to it and you know, scratch the crap out of it and the color won't scratch off. But uh, anyways, yeah, these guys are really fun to make. And uh, beforehand, these two guys are actually going to be on eBay. I'm not going to sell them in a lot. I'm going to sell them separate to see you know, which one will sell more. And so next time I do this, I'll make more of the other one that sells more. But yeah, just check this guy out. Yeah, he's pretty sexy. He's a sexy Gundam. Yeah. Nice little 360 around. Fuck you, camera. Yeah, cool stuff. Well, and I actually erased the uh, the uh, Federation decals that he had on there with some paint removal and added a decal that I had for for my past, uh, you know, MSAs. <coughs> Me, a Zeon decal, sorry. And this dude right here, he actually comes with the... Uh, one of those alternate backpacks and uh, those two weapons, the shield and the weapon he's holding right there. Really cool guy. And this one right here is my favorite. And he's he's my favorite because you know, I said it before and he's like I said it before with um uh, Gundams and more of a battle scar type, you know, battle scar is just more I don't know, it's, it's, they're, they're just more um you know, it just feels like people put more creativity into the battle scars, especially custom ones that people do themselves. Makes you appreciate the it makes you appreciate the figure even more. Sorry about the camera, it's a piece of shit. But uh me yeah, just check this dude out. Heavily battle scarred. He got shot right there twice with uh, bullet holes, and there's actually, yeah, you can see him right there. Oh, there we go. And it looks like he got shot by two bullet holes and just scratch marks all over his leg. Another bullet hole right there. Just a. <clears throat> sorry, I'm losing my voice. Just a uh, dirty, filthy Gundam. And uh, you know, check out his little shield bullet holes. Gashes, explosion marks. Even the gashes are really detailed too. I brought upon myself make everything everything look as detailed as possible before I you know make this video. And then his other leg is all kinds of fucked up. Yeah, you know, who knows maybe his walk around and step on a mine and just blew his leg up. <clears throat> you know, still functional but really cool. It's actually my favorite leg because you actually see like mechanical things going on in there. And I gave a nice little, you know, dent in his chest, like he got smacked by an RPG. Missing a, uh, missing a shoulder pad. Just totally blew up, blew up on him. More bullet holes, gash marks. Looks like I got smacked in the face by an RPG. Just like the chest. Skirts are a little bit messed up too. Yeah. No. 
Sorry, he just doesn't want to stand up. Here we go. Let's just put him in regular stand-up mode. Like you shoot in the sky. And let's see what I did with the back. Even the back is, you know, shot up a little bit too. And right here was another, you know, fair part that I did. I wanted to look like he, had, he just got, you know, blown up right there. Like somebody shot his, uh, his backpack and, you know, hit a gas line or something. Just blew it up. You know, really cool. Just did a lot of detail work in there. Just looks like a bunch of, you know, mashed up metal. I even fold that to plastic a little bit and paint it so it looked like it's, you know, all folded metal and shit. You know, it's pretty cool. This guy was actually really, uh, really fun to make. And the reason why I did it like this is because on this side right here, he didn't have the little uh, rocket thing right here. The weird rocket booster propeller thing, whatever the hell it's called. He, he didn't have it on the uh, right side. So uh, what I did was I took a took a heat gun and just, you know, melted it off. And this dude right here, he actually comes with an ultimate backpack too, so if you don't like the hole in, the, in his back, you can, you know, always cover it up and pretend it doesn't exist. And he comes with a, you know, like a little cool machine gun type thing. Comes with uh, two more guns, this big giant. Is this like a sniper or? I'm really sure what it is. But uh, either way, what I did was I did some battle scarring on that one. I actually just got done battle scarring this today. I wanted to look like you know somebody might have you know tapped his gun when he was firing. A nice small explosion, but he's still able to you know fire it. And he, and he comes with a beam saber too, which is pretty cool. But uh, yeah, you know keeping out keeping an eye out for these guys on eBay. And. Um, Hope they sell quick. Now, one of the main reasons why I made these guys is so I can make some more money and you know fix my car. But uh, yeah, it'd be a nice addition to anyone's collection. I like to think, especially the battle scar. Battle scar is really awesome. And I know there's lots of people who don't really care for battle scar, but I'm one of the few who are like obsessed with battle scar. Got uh, Gundams. <clears throat> but anyways, you know, thanks for watching and stay tuned for some more custom Gundam MSA reviews. Thanks.